What's up, my fellow geeks and geekettes? Today we're gonna have a bit of a sticky beak at some newly released photos from the cancelled Batgirl movie starring Leslie Grace as Batgirl. Now, this particular photo that I'm gonna be going over is a photo of the second bat suit that actor Leslie Grace wears at the end of the film. So we all know she had her first initial suit that was gonna be at the beginning of the film, and it's very homemade, very crude, and very civilian-esque, I guess you could say. And it'll be one of those things where there is an evolutionary process with the bat suit, where we do have a final form suit, something a lot more armored that has a lot more protection at the end of the film. And this is exactly what we got. So as we all know, the Batgirl film has been canceled. I still hold out hope that one day, just one day, we get a little glimpse of just something, a cut. I don't know how the hell it can be done, if maybe in the future Peter Safran and James Gunn do something where they're like, here, here's the film anyway. It's not exactly complete, but it's what we've got. Just so we can see Keaton as well back as Batman. I know obviously he's coming back this year as The Flash and it's so cool to say that now that it's 2023, that we are seeing Michael Keaton back as Batman this fucking year. But my heart goes out to Leslie Grace because she looks like she was really owning the role. She was having a damn good time. But obviously the whole cast and crew as well. Like it must have been really disappointing for everyone. We also had Brendan Fraser as Firefly. There's also a photo she posted of her and the Firefly stuntman, I'm guessing, without all the armor, the pipes, the flamethrowers on. And I really dug this interpretation of Firefly. It was something very crude, almost steampunk. When all the gear's off, looks pretty plain Jane, but once he's all suited up, absolutely love the look. I love the crude homemade look to this Firefly costume. But this video is more or less about going over the leaked photo, leaked photo, uploaded photo that Leslie Grace posted of her second bat suit. So first and foremost, I really dig it. It had a lot of potential. Granted, this is a very candid photo. This looks like it was taken in the makeup or costume trailer. She's obviously on break, having lunch or dinner. I'm not too sure, but it's in harsh light. It's lit very harshly. There is no controlled light whatsoever, no color grading done. So this is not a good representation of how the suit would have looked in the final film. Nonetheless, it still highlights some beautiful details. Now I have seen people's reactions online. It's pretty mixed. Some people dig it. Some people just do not like it. Some people are comparing it to the CW series. I totally understand where they're coming from. But again, this is such a candid shot. You really can't judge it unless you've seen it in the final film and seeing it lit how it was supposed to be lit because different materials, whether it be leather, urethane, resin, anything like that, carbon fiber, all reacts differently to certain lighting conditions. And if it's just a harsh fluorescent light from a makeup trailer, it's not gonna look the best. But anyway, let's go over some of the details with this second Batgirl suit. Now, the first thing I noticed, my eyes darted straight to the legs very reminiscent of Christian Bale's Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises costumes. Just the way the plating's been placed on the legs and the separation of the plating, very reminiscent of the Dark Knight and the Dark Knight Rises suit. Overall, I love the color tone of it, the, the certain darker shades of purple, the lighter shades. I would have loved to have seen some weathering on the chest emblem. It's too clean and too just stuck on there. Have it weathered around the, the edges and stuff like that, maybe even some scratches. Mind you, it could be one of those things where this is where the suit is fresh off the production line. It's like the first cab off the rank, no scratches, no dings. The gauntlets are very reminiscent of the tactical suit from Justice League. There's something about that, that plating, that bronzed, copperish, brass look to it. And I do love the fins. The fins are very kind of Batfleck-esque, very squared off and not really curved. And keep in mind also, this is such a candid pick. Her head is like mid-movement doing something. Like she's obviously, she's obviously grabbing the food that she's about to eat. Poor thing, she's probably dying to have something to eat. She's in this hot suit. Then you look at the breastplate, the shoulder pads. It all looks really good. I would have loved to have seen how the movement was. It, it seems like there's a lot of separation going on so she could do a really good shoulder roll. I love the pleats on the cape. The pleats are very reminiscent of Batfleck and Henry Cavill Superman. Just that nice fold to them. Just a lot of symmetry. It looks beautiful. We don't get a glimpse of the utility belt at all in this shot. I hope that she posts more photos as time progresses. I don't know the legalities of it if she has to go to Warner Brothers and be like, hey, can I still post these? 
I don't know how it goes, but I really do hope we get some more stuff. I want some photos of her and Keaton on set. I know there was that photo of Keaton on set with one of the directors, but still, I just want to see Leslie and Michael together in their suits, just really full on front on shots, just to see how Keaton looks in his suit and obviously see the rest of this beautiful second suit. Again, it's a very harsh lighting when it comes to this shot. It's candid, it's in the moment. There's no controlled lighting, no studio lighting, no set lighting, no color grading done to it. But from what I can see, it's very promising and it just makes me miss this film all the more and just, it could have been so good. And just fun. It looked like it would have been a fun film. The color and the texture of the cow have definitely changed. Her original cow looked like some sort of carbon fiber mishmash, but this one just looks like a standard purple. Might be one of those things where she sprayed the carbon fiber cow purple, upgraded it some sorts, but overall, I really dig this costume. I think it would have looked great on screen once everything was said and done with color correction and the lighting and stuff like that. It's a massive step up from the original costume that we saw when filming began. And I love that. There definitely is a narrative to the suit where she starts with something that's very scratch built, homemade, crude, and doesn't offer a lot of protection. But what she ends up with is something that is going to protect her and ultimately help her in the end. So guys, with that being said, drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts on this newly released photo of Leslie Grace's second second Batgirl costume. What are your thoughts on it? Again, I think it had a lot of potential given the right lighting, the color correction for the final cut of the film. It could have been oh so good. Just needs a bit more weathering, but that's coming from me. Guys, wherever you are in the world, please have yourselves an absolute cracker of a day. I hope you will. Hope you're happy. Be merry, be silly. And until next time, geeks and geekettes, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.